Hello and welcome to another Excel tutorial specifically designed for the HR practitioner or those wanting to get into HR. In today's episode we're going to cover the VLOOKUP, one of the most important and useful formulas for HR professionals. As you can see on screen we have a, a list of data here and we're just needing to add in the email which we have under another spreadsheet. And the VLOOKUP is the, the best way to do this. So I'm just going to click in there where we start our formula. Go on the formula insert function. VLOOKUP. Lookup value. And we're going to choose employee ID. And as we drag the formula down, this will change. The next one will look, in, look up uh, Williams ID, Sandys, Julie's, etc. as we drag down. The table array, we're going to go to where the email is, and that's the table we're going to select. The column index, now the column index refers to where on this table array you want to get the information from. So the column index number, the lookup value is column 1, and 2, 3, four etc going along. So in this example we're going to put in column index number two because it's the second column that we want the data to be returned from. And range lookup. Sorry just ignore that symbol that's a, another program I have running. The range lookup you can see here range lookup find the closest match we put in true find an exact match we put in false. I always put in false. The kind of data I deal with, I always want the exact match. I don't want one that's closest, I want the exact. So we just simply put in false. And you can see already that formula has brought back a result, franksmith at orange.com. And franksmith there. So you can see that's brought the right result back. We, before we press OK, we're just going to do some absolute cell references here because we're going to click and drag this formula. For those of you who have seen my other tutorials on Excel, I use absolute cell referencing a lot because I don't want Excel to move off this table, move off this area here when I click and drag the formula. And we'll see how that works in just a moment. And we'll press OK. And Frank Smith at orange. And we'll double left click. And that'll flow down. And just having a quick look at that absolute cell reference, you can see this one is further down the page, but it's still referring to A2 B21 on the, uh, the email spreadsheet. Exactly the same as this does, A2 B21. Always looking at the same Right, same table, which is really important. Let's have a look at the next example. The next example is a slightly different use of VLOOKUP and a really uh, useful one. In this example we have some data already prepared for a remuneration review. So we have the individual's current base salary and what we're waiting for for the managers to return to us is a performance rating and a recommended increase. And we have a table set up on the adjoining spreadsheet, which has the same uh, titles there, the same headings. And so what we're going to do is we're going to pre-populate these with VLOOKUPs. And so when we do receive the data, we can just drop and drag and it will auto-populate. I often use this method for when I'm creating spreadsheets for colleagues. Um, so that I just make a spreadsheet for them where they can just drop data into it and they don't need to do the formulas because they're already there. This is also really useful for more complex spreadsheets where you might want to use those for a number of years. For example, remuneration review spreadsheets are often quite complex, the number of calculations in there, and so we'd reuse those each year. So this is where we want our first VLOOKUP to be. VLOOKUP, OK. Lookup value, so we're going to click again on the first ID there. We want to find the information that correlates with Frank Smith. 
the table array. I'm going to go to sheet 2 and select where we'll be putting the data and just drag that down. The column index. So we're going to be wanting the performance rating. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Table array 7. Rather, uh, column index number 7. Range lookup. Again, this is a, uh, we type in false here. We want the exact match. And we'll just put our absolute cell references in here. This one's going to be slightly different. We're going to put a cell, absolute cell reference on our lookup value. And we're just going to do the A there. What this means is we're going to click and drag this across. And so the A won't change. It'll always look in this column. But the row will change. We're not going to put an absolute, values, absolute cell reference on the, uh, the row. Just on the column. And OK. And this is where that putting the absolute cell reference on the column there on column A becomes really, really useful. So we're just going to click and drag that across. And you can see it's still the same. It's still on A. If we, uh, if we hadn't put that on, I'll just take that off. And then we wanted to click and drag it across. You can see how that's now B2, which is looking on first names. That doesn't work. So I'll just put that absolute cell reference back in there. And so that, that means we don't need to redo the whole formula again. The only change we need to make is that we want the next column over, which is column 8. And OK. And we'll just click those, double left click, and they'll populate down. You see there's returning uh, an error there. There's nothing to find. There's uh, nothing available. As you can see, the spreadsheet's clear. And lo and behold, the managers have returned the uh, information we were after, primarily the performance rating and the recommended increase. So we're just going to copy those across. And team two. And team three. And you can see how easy that was. Just simply copy and paste. And then we have a look at our REM review spreadsheet. And you can see those have populated straight away. So it's a really useful way of using the VLOOKUPs to build a template kind of system like this where you have your main spreadsheet, where you might have other formulas, for instance, and then you build a spreadsheet uh, like this, where it's just simply drag and drop the data. Quite often when I'm working with complex spreadsheets and colleagues are providing data for me, or I'm building a data, uh, sorry, building a spreadsheet for someone else to use, I'll often simply protect this area, not with a password protect, but just protect it so people don't inadvertently change the formulas. So that's a that's two ways that I find VLOOKUPs really, really useful, and I hope you find that useful too.